going live Facebook. Welcome, if you haven't seen. So this is a video I promised to do it last week, but unfortunately I had lots and lots on uh, last week in the end, in the evenings, um, which I was gonna shoot. So always around my birthday, I try and do, I'm gonna try and do a few more of these, but an ask me anything. Um, so I'm gonna wait for, for people to come on and uh, obviously to fill up, because I know it gets, it uh, takes a little while to build an audience, etc. So, um, just gonna put it out there. Ask me anything. I do it for a little while. Uh, if no one asks anything, then I will go and relax and answer a few questions I've got to get to, uh, and do some other stuff. Um, but I'll leave it here for a little while. Um, actually, if you haven't already listened to the podcast interview. I did uh, last week, and it's actually out today with Gary, um, Gary Rothwell and John Sheridan. Then I suggest you do it. It's a really fun episode with two uh, great guys that have been in the fitness industry a long time. Gary's actually got a background in the in the army, in the forces, uh, and John's been training people for a long, long time. And it's a really good, fun conversation. Um, oh, wow, well, online at the same time at last. Great to see you. Nice to see you too, Helen. Glad everything is going really well for you. Awesome. I'm gonna don't worry, I'm gonna get to your, your message you answer me. Um, no worries for that, Helen. That's completely fine, that'll be sorted. Um what do you eat and drink for breakfast and what time do I have it? Uh I don't have breakfast, night. I haven't had breakfast for the last six years. Um I used to think like everyone else in the world, breakfast was the most important meal of the day. Um, until I realised that it wasn't. Uh, and to be honest with you, at the moment I'm tr I try I eat in an eight to four hour window. Uh, today I started eating around about uh, two, and I finished eating at six, and I get my calories in then. Um, and I do have I do have lots of calories. Um, not like I, I don't eat calories. I have a fruit to start with, um, and then I, I generally have a big meal, and and my meals are. Say big meal, calorie dense meal, uh, things like coconut oil and coconut milk, etc. Um, but I don't have breakfast. I like to feel nice and light throughout the day, clear, very clear head, give my body an extended break from food, give my digestive tract a rest because most people are eating far too much food too often. Um, and I let my body just go through autophagy, which means it starts to heal at a cellular level, and I just allow, allow it to. And also, at that time, it's a very good time if you also train fasted, which allows a deeper level of autophagy as well, so you get extended um, version of that. So you're actually cleaning out the debris in your cells as well as your body, um, and it's really good for fat burning because it keeps me very clear. Um, but if I was to have a breakfast uh, night, if I wanted it, then I'd just have normal food, just have real food, single ingredient food, eggs are really good, omelettes, um, or a super smoothie, um, which is really good. Things like fruit is very good in the morning to, to have because it's easy to digest. Um, so things like fruit, or if you want to put bananas and berries, etc., some maybe some chia seeds or some nuts, etc. Even we've got some good protein powders in on the Revive Cell shop if you don't want to use raw eggs. Uh, and Living Fuel Super Berry or Super Greens is phenomenal for that as well. Um, really good breakfast options. Um, and same as, as lots, just have real. I always say to people, stop, don't think about it too much as like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Try and think of it as just eating food. You know, um, food's really good, but I generally would leave my meats until around at least 12. Uh, going into 12 to 8, 8 p.m. because that's when your digestive tract is actually starting to to work at, at a higher level. You don't be too... You know, people do eat steak in the morning. If you can tolerate it, great, but it's, it's quite acidic for the morning. It can be very hard to digest. but it's not really woken up yet. Uh, and to answer to your question, Fergus, uh, if, when, uh, if I had an infrared sauna, I'd be in it every day. I'd try and get in there to, two, to, two to three times a week. Um, but I'd have one every day, and when I, I've actually got mine on order from Clear Spring, um, Clear Spring, sorry, Clear Light, anyone who wants one, give me a shout, I've got a really good deal with them, but when we're getting it sorted here, um, I'll be having one every single day, it's phenomenal for lots of things, injuries, fat burning, increasing your metabolism, it's great for letting the fat soluble toxins come out, infrared saunas are fantastic because they don't heat the air like normal saunas, they actually heat you, um, and it's much easier for people to tolerate them. And studies in Finland have showed people that have saunas, that's the, 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 the fin Finnish men on average have a sauna five to seven days a week and their lifespan is seven to, to 10 years longer than people here. Um, uh, yeah, Virginia Crawford pop up on. Right, yeah, if you want to ask a question, go for it. But yeah, infrared saunas are, are 
fantastic. Um, one of the things that I'd recommend in my morning routine, um, I get up, if I don't go for a walk, I, I hit the gym, but before that I, I journal. I do some left-handed writing at the moment to keep my brain um, trying different tasks, new new tasks to keep it, um, get new, let's say what gets fired together, gets wired together to keep my brain fresh. I always try and do a new task. Uh, and then I have a cold shower. Um, so yeah, once again, it's stimulating the auxiliary nervous system. Um, it's great for boosting your immune system, fat burning. Um, it's hormesis as well. Anything, a little bit of um, saying that's uh, say a little bit of something that would be bad for you. A lot of it would be bad for you. So, for example, like alcohol, etc. Cold showers, a little bit's very good for you, and it's very powerful for for the immune system. Uh, is a plant based diet healthy for some people? It's fantastic for for most. Um, people like in our programs, we have periods of time where people are plant based, but it all depends on what you, um, depends on your body, what you're going through, your stresses. Um, so the, the, the plant based diet that's, that's helped cure people for, uh, for cancer, cure people with cancer can then give them it because what's very, what's got the moment of an alkaline diet and help them heal has then caused it later on because they're not having enough. Um, not having enough acidic foods. You're looking for balance and everything. I'll get to that question in a minute. One more question, right? What's your number one go to tool? Self care and food. Like that. I'll get to that in a minute. But um, plant based diet. Once again, some people can be plant based. It's purely plant based and feel fantastic. They are the few and far between. I deal with a lot of very very sick vegans um, that have been vegan for a long period of time. Others don't want to admit it. And um, you've even had like Tim Sheaf, who was a vegan poster boy, who lost a lot of money from from actually saying he's not going vegan anymore. He's had to be um, very, very, uh, very, very, um, he's lost a lot of money for that, actually. He had a whole vegan clothing brand, and he was very, very ill. He even tried for three years to drink his own urine, urine therapy, lots of other stuff. Couldn't get better. Had his first bit of salmon and, and rowan. Felt fantastic. He's never looked back. It's happened to this a lot. So we need to just understand, like, for a lot of people, not most people need to eat much more, more greens and more plants and have better quality meats. But this whole... Um, this whole vegan propaganda trying to destroy uh, the meat and dairy industry. Uh, if you, there's lots of people you can look into. You can look at a guy on here called Phil, Phil Escott and uh, Jordan Peterson's daughter, uh, Michaela Peterson. They were all vegan for a long period of time trying to heal themselves from chronic illness and didn't do anything to make them worse. Um, so just just know it's balance, yin and, yin and yang. Okay, so, so the things that can cure disease can then create it if you go too far the other way. And most people haven't got the resources to be completely vegan and live a healthy life because the people I know that do it are just about are like multi-millionaires and fermenting and, and sprouting their own foods and for a lot of people they can't do it. Um, Nige, uh, to answer your question, num the number one thing would be sleep. <laughs> if you're not sleeping properly, you're not going to feel rested. You know, you can throw herbs and supplements and everything at people, but if you're not sleeping properly, you're never going to feel energised, your immune system's never going to reach its potential, and it's be like a dog chasing its tail, you know, and the best thing about sleep is it's free, you know, eating good foods and sleep, uh, you do that, you know, uh, I always, always say whatever is causing you to be tired, do the opposite of it, you know, if you're not getting enough sleep, sleep more, if you're not exercising enough, exercise more, if you're exercising too much, exercise less. Um, Helen's question, the difference between getting sh uh, supplements well most su 99.9 percent .9 of supplements on the market are are garbage it's funny because because of the people i deal with everything that we we, that we promote etc is phenomenal stuff and it comes from the best places on the planet and because i'm surrounded by that that's all we really deal, deal with it, it can seem like oh everything's good but most things like holland and barrett for example is what i call honda mcdonald's a lot of it's synthetic it's toxic it's derived from things like coal tar it's absolutely shocking for the system and you've got levatory mirratory molecules and if you shine a light through a synthetic molecule goes to the left because it's a levatory molecule if you shine it through a normal a healthy or say a whole molecule a, a natural molecule goes to the right it's revetory and your body can actually process that most of it is this expensive we and it and it's very very toxic msg is manufactured in the processes in the processing um lots of it's cheap binders fillers full of artificial sweeteners um things like magnesium stearate for example not good um best um vitamin c supplement to give young children i think they do some really good chewable ones uh i think BioCare do some good ones most vitamin c you can just take it um, as long as it's good, I've got lim lim the one we sell, we've got two, limosomal and ultrin, but limosomal, if you just put a little little bit in there, they'll be absolutely fine. Um, it's not, it's not, there's no toxic amount of vitamin C, you can be absolutely fine, it's why, um, it's why 
you know, Dr. Richard Klenner in the 1940s actually cured 60 out of 60 cases of polio with a poor form of vitamin C, let alone what we're getting now. And they can get into Venus vitamin C, high quality lymphosomal, top quality products. And he cured 60 out of 60 cases of polio with vitamin C. So um, there's no toxic amount. I've actually got a really good interview with Dr. Thomas Levy on that if you want to. He's um, got some really good books out. If you look at my podcast, type in Revive Yourself with Ryan Martin, Dr. Thomas Levy. I've actually got two interviews with him. Look at the one about vitamin C and you can go in there. That's why, I mean, vitamin C has been used to, to, to heal many different illnesses. But we'll be careful what I say on here. Uh, I'm not a medical doctor, so I can't give medical advice. But I say if it was my family or if it was my daughter, there's certain things that I'd be doing, I'd be giving it to her. So normal, normal vitamin C is absolutely fine. Um, and if you're having a good diet, it's, it's great. Um, no worries, thank you, I'm going to share this to someone, no worries. Uh, any other questions, people? I think I've got to quite a few of them there. And these things go quite quick once people start asking them. They can actually go on quite, it can actually go, um, actually I have a question for you guys. Anyone you've got that you think I should interview for my podcast? I've got some really good ones lined up. I've got Mike Salimi on the show actually this, this week. He's going to be, he's just been into the uh, rainforest and uh, in Costa Rica and been experimenting with Kumbo, which is a plant medicine. Well, it's actually a, no, it's not a plant medicine. It's actually from a secretion from a frog. And it's what the warriors used to, to do before they went out to hunt or to go to battle. It's increased the immune system and it's very, very good for purging. Um, so he's been down there. He's going to talk all about his experience with Kumbo. Um, any other questions, people? If not, I can chill. When is my book available on audio? It's uh, coming out, so I've been just working it. It's, in fact, in fact, um, it will be out. I've got it here. It's annoying. I've got it here. It's, it's all, uh, it's, it's being done. The audio is already done. It's just being put together. We're just putting out a, uh, a funnel and getting the adverts sorted out for it just to go up, but it's all ready to rock and roll. So it should be this week. I keep on saying it, but a few things behind the scenes. These things, unfortunately, take a bit longer. Um, but yeah, we can we can get on another, another podcast for sure, Helen. Um, no problem. But yeah, the podcast will be out in audio as soon as it's out. As soon as the book's out, the audio's done. So I did that before. So um, that's that's all sorted. Any other questions, people? Otherwise, I can relax. No. Elliot, Timmy, Harley, and Bethnal for podcast. Fascinating. So I'm going to fire, fire, and say that level. Yep, yeah, awesome. Elliot, Timothy, Harley, and Bethnal. Cool. I'll get onto that. I'll go back through that. Perfect. I've actually got a really good um, podcast with. Um, what's his name? Oh, I've actually got it on podcast. I think it was like episode 111. Um, what water do I drink? Um, that's actually structural water. I've actually got my house. Uh, filtered from the mains. We've got Aquitea, so we set them on our site as well at night. Um, one, two, three, or four plus bedroom houses, uh, hard or soft water. Um, comes from a guy called Graham Bremner. He's phenomenal. He's actually a uh, a rocket scientist and he's developed, the, well, in my opinion, the best all round water filter by now. It gets rid of 99.9% of all nasties, heavy metals, etc. So I have it there. I then put it in my, in my uh, wellness carafe, which structures the water. Uh, and then I sometimes put it through my hydrogen filter, so I get like a hydrogenated water. Um, and sometimes I use Mega Hydrate from Doctor uh, uh, Patrick, um, Doctor Patrick Fanagan. Uh, he's going for three hundred sixty-five days, various fasting methods during next year. Good luck to him. <laughs> it's not what I want to do. I enjoy, I enjoy, uh, <laughs> I enjoy food. <laughs> but um, cool. Um, I'll give him a give him a shout. It'd be interesting to talk to him. Is dairy good for us? I avoid milk, yogurt, or anything dairy, but I don't know if I should. Listen to one bit of advice. Well, your body's going to tell you everything you need to know, Faye. If you have it and you feel good in it, then why wouldn't you have it? Most people do not, well, most people aren't actually um, intolerant of dairy. They're intolerant of homogenized and pasteurized dairy, which means it's been heated to such an extent that it's just destroyed all the enzymes in it. Um, most tribes around the world that live to to whenever like 120 years old in Himalayas, so they all drink milk straight from the cow, um, as well as breast milk. It's um, if if you don't tolerate dairy, then then no. But if you do, it's absolutely fine. Generally, it's obviously you want to be having organic raw dairy. I'm not talking about pasteurized uh, dairy, even organic milk from the supermarket, which has been um, what's been 
been heated to such an extent it's, it's very very bad but most people when it comes to raw organic dairy are absolutely fine in it and it's great for getting rid of allergies most children having it um most children have it they feel very very good in it builds it builds it's very, very great for it's great for their brain it's great for their immune system um and it's been shown to get rid of all allergies so it's once again goat sugar is actually the closest to to us it's what i say to people goat sugar or goat's milk if um they can't breastfeed and parents can't breastfeed i'll get my clients to have give their child goat's milk or goat's yogurt um and um yeah if you if you can and um, there's other milk out there as well but your body will tell you everything you need to know if you have it and you don't feel good then you then you'll know about it if you have it and you feel fine perfect um what was the other question I was missed, I think? What do I drink in a pub? Uh, if I go to the pub after after a Saturday after I play football, I have a few drinks with my mates. I tend to drink, if I can, an organic uh, beer. It's just me. I have a German one because German, uh, German, uh, I'm not allowed to put anything bad in their, in their beer. It's completely clean. Uh, otherwise, I'll have a triple distilled, um, like alcohol, for example, like vodka, and I'll have like a mixer, like a soda water or, or a lemon and lime depending on what, what I have, just for a, a bit of a social. But yeah, if, you, if, if any beer drinkers out there, if you get, you want to look at them, the, look at the, 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 per, the place you're buying from. For example, we were actually on the Liverpool the other day, I actually had one um, in this Glen Afric, uh, it, was, it was actually in a brewery, I spoke to the guy in there and told what they used, and they used like four ingredients, all organic, very, very good stuff. You could see what some of the, the, clear, the, clean, the how clear that the alcohol was. Um, what is that? Show the podcast. Perfect, keep them coming. Keep them coming. Train towers, yeah. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Any other questions, people? Just been listening to Ed Sheeran. Can't get him out of my head. Legend. Nothing else. Have I missed one? Just going through. Yeah. Hope Did that help, Faye? Let me know. Uh, let me know if that, that helped. Well... That's the thing, what's a healthy diet? It's what works for you. You know, if, if something works for you, then great. If it doesn't work for you, you'll soon know about it. So make sure you listen to your body. If you start getting an allergenic response or, you know, if you have something and you have, don't have any, you, know, you don't feel like you've got any mental clarity, you can't think straight, you get digestive issues, maybe you've got gas or bloating or pain afterwards, or maybe you feel inflamed or you get some sort of inflammation in your fingers or hands, rashes then um yeah the mineral clay talk on that for a bit uh different mineral clays we, we got from uh, the clay company yeah they're very very powerful for putting out different impurities toxins you can use them uh, use them internally or sometimes you can use internally you got other ones you can use externally on your skin put them in baths um lots of lots of these in fact i actually use a red main clay for my hair a lot of people have You've got to be careful what you put what people put on there, then realise what goes on their hair and their skin goes into their bloodstream. So I actually use a Redmond clay for my hair as well, um, which is literally just bentonite clay and water. Whereas if you look at most people's hair products, it'll be like a an absolute like long list, laundry list of, of ingredients. Um, but yeah, these clays we've actually got them in the shop, they're very, very good for putting out impurities. We've got a few more we need to actually get up there. Some are great for um, some are actually great for foot soaks as well, to put them out at the bottom of your feet. Um, so yeah, clay clay in general is very very good for for boosting the immune system, pulling out impurities, detoxifying the body, um, and actually it's very good for the skin. You know, making the skin very very clear, um, get rid of blemishes, um, redness. Um, same as the the pearl powder is very very good for that. It's been used in all ancient cultures and very very good for for cleansing the liver if you have it internally, uh, boosting the immune system as well as getting rid of blemishes on the face. Uh, just in a bath we'll have a view we've got a few more of an audience coming up and down anything else ask me any, anyone else want to ask me a question if not no worries it's a good start to a Monday hello people we're getting on so I've answered quite a few here any more questions if not I can go and relax do you use Epsom? I just had an Epsom salt bath, actually, Charlene. Uh, I just had an Epsom salt bath with lavender essential oils. And what else did I put in there? 
I put in there. Oh yeah, some mag magnesium, uh, magnesium oil as well. So yeah, I use it for detox detoxification and also just for remineralization of the body. Um, I've been using it, so I use it to relax. Um, especially if I've played a football on a Saturday, it's quite a hard. For example, my football on a Saturday, I'll, I'll probably do 2,000 calories there, up and down the pitch, probably cover about uh, 11 to 12K, probably more. Uh, it's 30 to 40 minutes, actually sometimes 60 minutes in the red zone, like above 90% of body, so you can get very tired and having a, uh, a bath to if I can speak, remineralize the body uh, as well as detoxify it is very, very powerful. So try and get in there for 30 minutes, um, as hot as I can, and then sometimes jump in a cold shower afterwards as well. Hey, Rachel. How's things? And pearl powder on your hair, yeah. When I put my f clay face mask on, I put it on my hair as well. Just cover it off. With the pearl powder, it, it, it can stay on your skin, so you might have to wash it off a few times, but as you're using pure soap, you'll be fine. But yeah, Epsom salt baths are very, very powerful. Um, very, very revitalizing. And you feel good. It's probably well if you a bit of a freaking spin in the bath. So yeah. And you can actually... Um, you can get certain Epsom, Epsom salts as well you can have internally, especially if you're, you're doing things like liver cleansing or etc. You can you can have, but they're different different type of Epsom salts. Any other questions? And um, hey, Rachel, hope you're good. Actually, I need to come and see you as well. Any other questions? If not, I can chill. I haven't missed any, have I? Do, 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 do. Nothing from anyone. No, nope. don't think so. Cool. Speak now, if I ever hold you a piece. Otherwise, I've got some. Um, oh, and I have got any questions for Mike Slimy who will be on the podcast on Wednesday. Let me know, and I'll give him a shout. If you don't know who Mike Slimy is, he's he's, uh, he's another he's a holistic health coach. He's a Czech professional. Um, uh, that well, she needs to turn out infections. She needs to increase her overall health um, before she starts working on putting out uh, viruses. Because it can, if you start attacking a virus and her level of health isn't high, then it can cause big issues. Um, so, first things first, increase her level of health from uh, a, a overall standpoint, and then you can start uh, looking into and doing testing for what infections, bacterial or viral, uh, and then you can start to pinpoint stuff, but you need to increase the health first. Otherwise, same as a lot of people start putting stuff out and start detoxifying the body and chelating metals before it's ready. It's why if you had me did it a certain way, so she uh, she needs to, to boost her immune system first, get her body healthy, which will help anyway, because infections, viruses, and bacteria, they, they love to live in dysfunction. The more stressed you are, the more tired you are, the more toxic you are, the more depleted they, you are, the more they love it, the more they thrive, and their aim is to put you back. Well, first of all, you get a little problem, then it becomes a chronic condition, and if you don't listen, it becomes a disease or a viral condition or an infection, and if you don't listen, then they put you back in the ground. So you need to raise your level of health. So... Um, these things don't want to live there, otherwise they, they proliferate at such a rate. Uh, you just throwing herbs at them, etc., isn't gonna make much difference. They can lay like a million eggs a day, or these viruses can multiply. And viruses can't multiply in a hydrated cell, so um, yeah, so um, keep keep very hydrated uh, as well as you know, other things that can boost your immune system. You know, the, the general things that create health, and then you can start looking at what is the underlying issue. If you keep on getting viral or bacterial infections, it tells me that internally you're, you're very weak. We need to work on that. Um, where can you get some good multivitamins for my two-year-old daughter? Um, multivitamins, once again, I think BioCare do some really good ones. I, I have a look into it for youngsters, but BioCare is good. They've got some really good um, vitamin and probiotic mixes. Um, uh, no worries, Helen. Um, uh, I think, I don't know if I've got them on my site. Maybe not, but I think Makola as well. Makola does a really good multivitamin for a child. I'll try and get it on my shop uh, for you. Um, but in general, if you're just giving her really good organic food, her body's going to her body's gonna uh, have nutrients. As long as it's organic food, things like raw milk I'd be having, you know, things like sauerkraut. Uh, well, she's two years old, isn't she? Um, you, have, you can have um, kefir. I'd be having kefir. Um... 
and you can be putting the pro the probiotic from BioCare actually as uh, it's quite tasty, it's flavorful. You can actually find what I get people to do. My clients, if they have a child, um, they can actually sprinkle. Um, for example, if they have an infant, you can actually sprinkle the probiotic around the nipple so the baby, when it's feeding, you can get that, or you can put some in the milk. Um, so there's lots of different options. But yeah, I think Macola and BioCare do some good ones. Um, yeah, living fuel for kids is fine. You just got to be. It's quite powerful. Just maybe have uh, an eighth of a scoop because um, it is very very powerful. Uh, yeah, uh, for for a baby, so you can have an eight and an eighth of that. Um, and if they're fine with that, you can build up. But yeah, otherwise, just feeding children what an adult eats. Healthy foods always gonna be healthy food. Um, as long as they can chew, etc. And if they if they if they have problems with that, you can always pre-digest it by having it in soups and blending it up, etc. Any other questions? Roll up, roll up. How long have we been going for? I don't know. We've got quite a lot. Have I missed anything out? I don't think so. Dude, we've got quite a lot of comments here, or a lot of people, reasonable. Uh, high Street Chain. Yeah, with supplements, as I said before, there's nothing more expensive than a supplement that doesn't work. So if you think things are expensive, they're expensive for a reason because you're getting things your body can actually use rather than synthetic, toxic, manufactured rubbish. Um, so yeah, uh, really, really pay attention to what you're buying. I say buy cheap, you buy twice generally. Uh, anything else, 25 minutes, perfect. Any other questions? If not... I'm going to log off. Anything else? No? Well, if not, as I said before, any questions from Mike Sleeman this week, let me know. And also, this should be out this week, hopefully. Getting to get it out to you this week. And the audio book is all ready to rock and roll too. Um, so yeah, if you'd like to read or if you'd like to listen to my soothing voice. Uh, if any of you have ever recorded an audio book, you know how much fun that is. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it'll be out soon. Hello, Michael. Hope you're well. Uh, any questions? Otherwise, I'm about to go. That's what people just, just logged on. But if you've got any questions, give me a shout. Ask me now or forever. Hold your peace. Maybe if you have just come on board, welcome. No worries, Helen. No worries. I know you had lots of lots of things to do. All right. Cool. Looks like that's it. And we just had Cressy come on. Hey, go, my man. And uh, otherwise, thank you. Yeah, I hope that helped. Morning. <laughs> Where are you? Morning. Uh, otherwise, uh, yeah. If you've got any questions that you want to ask that you didn't get to ask, stick them in my inbox or put them underneath. I get to it. Otherwise, it's nine o'clock. Time to wind down. As always, stay happy, stay healthy. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye. Hey, Jess.